The event tonight is quite exciting. I think it would be fantastic to hear the, the experiences and the life journeys of the, the different speakers on the panel and to be able to discuss and question the challenges that they've had on the way. What uh, makes a successful GM? Well, I think you need to be a good listener. You need to be sensitive to your organization and particularly to your customers. So we're very great believers in voice of customer. Everything we do kind of starts there. To have the opportunity to hear from general managers from some really high profile organizations like Google, to understand what their world's like, the challenges that they face, and how they are trying to make a difference to the organizations that they're in. This is an absolute golden opportunity. You need to know yourself and your own strengths and weaknesses and make sure that the team you're about, the building that needs to deliver the business is a balanced team. You need to ruthlessly organize your own time to make sure that you're devoting the right time to the right leaders in your business to get there. And you only win if the whole organization is brought in, your whole team is bought in and wins with you. So you've got to motivate them all and make sure you're building the right environment to do that. The career support at London Business School is very important and it's helped me approach my career development in a more structured and rigorous manner than I have done previously. One of my big ones, especially in my part of the world at the moment, is finding and keeping good people. And that's one of the toughest ones in the loss, actually. If you get the right people around a business, it works every time. And I can only tell you this. There are a million smart people. You're probably a lot of them. I know that I wasn't. I had since gone on and I had since managed to uh, finish my degree and did relatively well as I realized that with a little bit of focus and a little bit of attention you can learn an awful lot of things. Um, I'm still learning every day and I can tell you that in the general, general manager job, one of the best things that you can do to be the best general manager possible is understand one thing, you're not the smartest, you're not the best, but what you do have is you need an uncanny <coughs> ability to bring out the best in all the other smart people that you have that's on your team. Um, you need to play to their strengths, you need to, you need to figure out what they are, and the best thing is you need to make sure that they all want to play together. I think it went very well. We sometimes kind of lose sight of the bigger picture, which is what you need to do as a general manager, somebody who actually, whose real job is simply about trying to manage all the people doing all those things. So this is a great opportunity from, to hear from four really senior people. I found all four of the, the speakers tonight had um, some great experiences and perspectives to share. And I also enjoy the networking afterwards too, to be able to ask very personal kinds of questions, as well as the general ones that were in the, in the session there. The more exposure you have to um, the, as many as many of the panelists, uh, many guest speakers, you're getting a taste of the real world. For me, the best bit of, of this session was how they view about students coming out from college like LBS, what's the skill set we're expected to bring, and, and what they think is important as far as uh, being a general manager is concerned. I thought it was, was a very good experience.